G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joel Wordle, and I am excited. I'm excited about today because we are back in seven days, back in Demolishers only. But for the first time in a heckin' long time, things might actually be going my way for a change. Well, now that I've said that, I've absolutely jinxed it. It's a misty morning, but that's all good. All you can see is the blinking lights of death cruising around out there. All my juke collectors are empty, but it's going to be a good day because I have this. The tier 5 sniper rifle is finally ready to rock and roll. Pumped at 122 with a bit of rounding damage per round. I'm going to roll that, and I think I'm going to roll that with the AP ammo I've got as well. I don't have a lot of it, but I think the extra damage would really come in handy. Although it's, it's hard to, it's hard not to, isn't it? It's hard not to just roll both snipers. And in fact, yeah, no, nah, I'll take it back immediately. I'll roll the tier three with the AP, the tier five with the regular stuff. And that oh, should finally give me the upper hand. Other than that though, I have been very busy overnight. I've put in some lovely skylights up here over my bed, which is absolutely beautiful to see to chuck in some walls or something to give myself some privacy from myself. But I also made another workbench purely because I just have an obscene, an absolutely obscene amount of things that I need to scrap. So I'm making a literal exclusive scrapping bench. So you can go, it was pink and I got a heart attack for a second there, but it's okay. You can go like that because that's going to be what, like 12 minutes just in scrapping, which I don't have time for. You can go back into there. I've got everything else I need. All right, the sun's up, my gun's up, time to rock and roll. It is Trady Restock Day today, so I've got a bunch of stuff I want to go and sell to him. I've got three full stacks, 6,000 brass. I will need to get myself some uh, sugar butts. And actually, I do have some cheese cakes, cheesecake even. Just saying, cheesecake made my mouth water and taught my ability to talk. Uh, some cheesecake to take with me. I'll get some uh, awesome sauce as well. Make some decent dosh off of you. But what I wanted to do, I've got this tier 6 double shotgun. Then I've got two more mod slots in that I can't put anything else into. There's not... I mean, I can make a lot of mods, but none of these are really uh, shotgunner fireball. That's definitely... <laughs> that's definitely a word. For goodness sake, Josh, you've been going for two minutes and you're already losing the plot. Before I go, I just want to make sure that all my cement is on the craft. I'm going to need a couple more bits of wood to do that, though. I'm running out of wood. Why am I always running out of wood? Why am I always bleeding running out of wood? Uh, I did spend... Quite a lot of time last night down in the mines, just getting some pebbles purely so I can make myself the concrete I need. That's about right, actually. We'll turn the rest of you into... It's got like 25 building blocks just at the moment. Put the rest of you away. All right. Well, no time like the present then, I suppose. It's a bit drizzly outside, but that's all good. Jump on the bike and let's go. I really like this base. I've I, I still got room to expand into over here as well. There's even more space down this end, but this is all... This is like the perfect size for a seven days home. I'm into it. Uh oh, I heard some things. I heard some things that are not good things. It sounded like a moan on the groan and a bunch of splinters getting shambled. I can hear footsteps. He's, in, he's inside the house. I could have just used the regular rifle, but that's okay. I need him to come back out this way. Where actually are you? Oh, there he is! Oh, he's crawling at me like the alien that was made out of a dog! That's terrifying. Come out this way, please. I do not want you to pop and blow away my house. Turn on the laser. This is the first kill with a tier 5 and... It took three rounds? I was wearing the wrong gogs, I know, but still three rounds to kill one demo? Oh, man, there's more. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, fine. Break that, but... <laughs> That's why I needed the ramp walls, but not my drawbridge. Put you down. I am on the right goggles this time. So is the tier 5 just not as good as I was hoping it would be? Oh, are you serious? It's only one... You're gagging. You're gagging. It's only 1.4 damage more than my tier 3? What if I put it onto AP rounds? Does that change it? I think it might. Otherwise, that's absolute bleeding horse shit. Yeah, okay. All right. So it actually does more damage than the T3 with regular ammo. All right, I'm less upset. Quickly turn and burn around the outside. Get our hearts out to quickly check your vendos. I've got the wrong goggles on. I don't have much, much money on me at the moment at all. I will take, I'll take your awesome sauce. I'll take your Linux. I'll take both your mega crushes. Cheers for that. Quickly check your vendo for, thank you. 
I've been having exceptionally good luck with your, uh, the sugar butts of late, and I am absolutely not upset by that. How are you, hot stuff? Great to tickle your red beard again. Uh, I've got the right goggles on. You go in first. I'm going to sell all this, then buy whatever I can. Please, there's something good for me today. I'm really... Oh, actually... I'm going to chuck you in as well, because selling's worth a good chunk of experience. I've been really hard up about it lately. I'd love you to actually give me a hand out. Sold everything beautifully. Even got the level up for it as well. Bloody Bonza. And made lo ooh, lots of cash. I made, like, made almost 50... Oh, maybe 40 grand out of that. Right. You... Tier 5 Pumpy, very tempting. I'll take a gunpowder. Um, I do like pump shotguns more than really anything else in this game, but I don't have the points for it right now. I'll take your steel. Do not need the rifle world books, because look, I've already done it. Furious Fist, no. I'll take the fireman's almanac books. I actually need two of you. Need to make some extra water uh, production back home again. Even expanding my balcony to get ready for that. Gas, no. Time charges, lead, I've got plenty. Split bullet casings, I'll take them because why not? The eggs. And actually what I should be looking out for is wood, sand, springs. A lot of just like random materials I've got to buy. But what I need is glue or duct tape. That's what I'm really lacking at the moment. He didn't have any, that's okay. But I do have my super speedy mini bike now. I've only got two minutes, but I reckon with a little bit of luck and a lot of pin in the throttle, I might be able to make it down to the other trader. Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's just pretend I did that deliberately. Took my hand off the steer and just scratched my nose. And I say that and my nose gets itchy again. And I immediately was bitten into a gigantic pothole. Oh, for goodness sake. The bloody motorcycle can't come fast enough. The suspension on the mini bike is basically a stick. That's the quest you got to do on the way back home again as well. The, oh, demo. The Cracker Cafe. Weave our way through there. Cheeky little bunny hop. Mind the guttering. Over we go. There's no, oh, there's a road just there. There's no, like, smooth highway. It takes me all the way there. Got to get through town first. But I can hit that Cracker Cafe on the way back again. It's, it's not just a cafe. It's an Australian cafe. Because it's a bloody cracker. The difference in speed going, uh, with a turbo from no turbo. All right, a supercharger. In my head, I'm a JDM kid. In my head, it's always turbos, not superchargers. But I've almost made it with some time left on the uh, on the awesome source. If I hadn't faffed around so much before in and out of potholes, I might have actually made it. So I could just buy another one. I've got enough cash on me anyway. Uh, I'll quickly check though. Do you have any more sugar butts? Thank you. I'll take you just in case I need it. I'll take the mega crushes. I'll take the learning elixirs. That'll be good for now. Oh, Get a hot stuff. Now that I'm thinking about it, you don't have the handlebars for my motorcycle. That is a stitch up, but you can't do much about it. I'll take the electric fences. I'll take the wire relays. Um, take a generator bank as well. I think I might need a couple of those. I'll take the switches. I think I have a solar bank already. I'm not sure. I should have. I should have taken the awesome. Yup, sod it. I'll do it now. I'll do it now. Better late than never, I suppose, because I'm going to be buying everything else too. May as well get a discount for most of it. He's even got the 4x4 truck chassis there, which I actually can't afford. I have spent so much money today. I had 40 grand a second ago. Now I don't. 4x4 truck chassis. 16 grand. I don't really like the 4x4 because it's a thick boy. And it definitely clatters everything we ever think about driving past. So I usually don't bother. I don't really need any of you. Basic lights. Solar bank. Mm. Oh, there's a demo outside. I didn't close the door. Bad by me. Take the rest of you though. And that'll do us. All right, cheers, knackers. Everything else is empty. I have a date with a good book back up in town and a hot cup of coffee. I can go to Fox Books, not the store around the corner. While I'm down here, actually. Yeah, go on then. Go on then. Treat yourself. You got the fuel. For once in life, you have the time. I. Oh, chicken. Oh, chicken. I'm sorry. In fact, it's probably not too bad because I do need bones. Oh, I didn't mean that, though. Oh, I feel a little bit guilty. I feel a little bit. <laughs> He wasn't even trying to cross the road, but then trying to cross me. Got some bones out of you. Thank you. Don't need the feathers. In fact, I should read all of you while I'm thinking of it. In you all go. I can make steel quality one, but I'd rather make a motorcycle. I think I need two more. Two more. <laughs> still feels so far away, though. But yeah, for once in my life, I actually have some time before the next horde. I'm, I have, like, several days to do stuff. How unusual. I want to get really lucky with this treasure map. If I could find it nice and quick, I'd be absolutely happy with that. Getting close to the treasure. I didn't actually bring... Nah, we're fine. Didn't bring my treasure hunting goggles, but we're all good. 
Let's take a look though. The um the weather in Melbourne moment kicking my ass. My hay fever is through the bloody roof. I'm scratchy all over. I'm sniffling like a kid with a cold. I hate it. <laughs> Who invented pollen anyway? <laughs> Stupid hungry bees. Oh, oh, there it is. Got it. Nice, Gary. Bowl and shame. Quickly tickle your pickle and get you open. Right, that's. That's some good form by me. It's just after 10 a.m. I've got a treasure quest. I've gone to both traders, bought stuff, sold stuff, and had a good bloody time about it. Nice, guys. Open you up for some diamonds and not in the rough like Aladdin. I'll scrap you. You gave me chlamydia as well. Not the first box I've got into that's given me chlamydia. That's for damn sure. Actually, I could take a bit of a longer route home. There's Jen's treasure map out further to the east, but there's also that derpo that was dropped... That's a, that's a giant lump of lead, sorry, Mike. That derpo that was dropped when I was in Stand Tower, I think. So I can grab that on the way past, grab the treasure, and then quickly go back home. Now that I've got the speed of the supercharger, I can actually get around so much better. Plus, I need to go repair my bike as well, but that's just kind of a secondary thing I'll definitely forget. This is good, though. The extra speed opens up so much more of the world. There's the plume up on the roof of whatever this place is. What actually is this place? Could give me a higher loot level. That wouldn't be bad at all. What are you? You're a working stiff's warehouse. I do have... Uh, I can trade you back out again. Do have some blocks to make myself a ladder up to the roof. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother raiding the whole place. It's not like a regular POI where I feel obliged to at least pretend like I've gone through it properly. In this case, I just need to get in, get the bloody drop and get out again. I'm having a lot of trouble with the ladders. How are you? Up to the top. Over to the roof. Nice and quickly grab you for some bacon and eggs and some... Oh, you've, you've delivered me breakfast. Thank you for that one. I'll scrap you and I'll pop open both of you. The medical... Ooh, oh, some tier six stuff too, actually. Medical journals. Five. Oh, no. Two would have come from the book box and two from the armor box. That's fine. All of you. All of you. Nice. Not too bloody bad. I'm not... Oh, it's so tempting though, but no. Josh, resist. Resist temptation. It's only death in there. I was riding past this and I was really confused about what it was. It's... Oh, there's loot bags down here still. It's the burned out husk of that POI I went to when I first... <laughs> when I first made demos, uh... Uh, not, well, not napalm-like. Not, uh, not explosive, already explosive, but when I first gave them the ability to start setting things on fire to the first place I came... And look at what's left of it. It's a, a literal crater. Just a husk. <laughs> That's actually pretty bloody wild. And really bloody cool. I feel like most of them ups down here are already dead. So I'm going to drop in. I did a good job of clearing it from up on top of the balcony. Scrap you. Scrap you. Take the rest. So much loot. I'm going to start like, just scrapping most of the things I find in the pockets of demos while I'm at it. Because half the time, it's given me things that I've already got. Scrap you. I left some loot behind last time through. But I was, um, if you remember when I was here, the place was getting pretty toasty and I was pretty desperate to get out of the literal fire. Anything else? One more loot bag in the corner. Can't leave you behind on your lonesome. But yeah, look, it's ammo and SWAT helmets that I have no room for. I'm, I'm chockers. That's still really cool though. I love that the chimney's left standing at the foundation. And it's now 12 o'clock. I was so distracted by the world. A time has ticked away. But I love that. It's one of the reasons I'm not having so much fun playing demos only. Because this is the sheer amount of damage to the world that's then persistent and there forever. I find really cool. I love that like, the world like evolves as things get exploded. And you come back later like that and go, Oh yeah, I remember when shit kicked off here. It was really bad. The theory last time worked out pretty well. I was going to do the same this time. Just pick an edge and start digging. I can now... One shot. Actually, that's not bad. Well, I don't really need the plant fire, but I think I get more for the ones underneath. That can be 22. That can be 22 as well. All right, I'll just go a little trench on the top now. I can one shot the grass blocks. It's one of the comments I get the most. People tell me just to, like carve out like the circle on the surface, then go down. But uh, yeah, the grass blocks have more HP, so it takes longer. But now that it's all the same, this is much simpler. I can finally do what people tell me to do. The circle's nice and small now. It's going to start going underground. Just kind of fan out somewhere down here. It shouldn't be above me or below. I'm right on the right level. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there you are. There you are. 
I'm not sure that was any quicker, though in fairness, I, I do get Ryuzu lucky with those things and find them pretty early, but it's a method to the madness, I guess. Something to kind of aim for rather than just kind of digging randomly. Although I still think I prefer like the tunnel method. Open you up, treasure cash, form. Scrap you, scrap you, scrap you, and scrap you. Take the rest. Okay. I mean, look, nothing particularly fantastic in there, but at least I get to tick it off. I'm not going to drop the bike all the way inside. Quicker grab you. Copper rotation. Chuck you like... No, not going to not gonna want to do it for me. Just like that for now, I do need to go through and replace all those walls with the rampy blocks instead. But given that wood is just such an issue for me... Don't make any jokes. Uh, I don't really have that option right now. Oh, you go into them. You go into there. That was... I do. I've got more Mega Crushes in there than I thought I did. The Mega Crushes go into that one instead with some ammo. The rest of you guys can all find your place and find your home. Because <laughs> every time I say that, I think of Happy Gilmore. You too good for your home? <laughs> Always makes me giggle. I've got everything that I need to make the two Drew Collectors that I need. Just some duct tape. So I'll turn all the glue on me into duckies. I'll chuck you with a medical box into you. That one. Tools. That one. You can say would be for the moment. You're making some extra glue in you and you're making steel all right i'm actually looking pretty bang on for the moment chuck in all of that i need some more casings though please and you make sure you're still working away with my, with my cements i'm probably going to end up needing <laughs> like some sort of protection from the screamers because i'm definitely doing a lot more now than i was before another four things of ammo to scrap into you the brass production like look at this every every station in here just about is doing something make sure you're going we're gonna go 300 on you and then 300 on you yeah that's oh actually i need to turn a lot of those small stones into sand as well there's a lot happening the Drew Collectors will only take two, or a minute, sorry. So I, I saw the two and got confused. Only take a minute, so I'll quickly wait for those ones. You guys are now done. I can turn them straight into Dark Taste, which I need more. And actually, I would love... I don't think I can because I'm not going to have the duct tape to do it, but apparently I will. Don't need to see anything more than one steel shovel. It's already one-shotting everything. The steel axe is kind of as well for boxes but for blocks it's still struggling a bit so i'll actually chuck you on the go as well dude very very suddenly i feel like i'm doing okay no wonder i was excited this morning and as soon as you're done i'm gonna split it i'm gonna put four into you because you still got a couple minutes before you start and i'll chuck the oh, you got two minutes before i can get you going i'll put you on at the end i'll put you on at the end i can scrap the ammo another day put you away had so many so many spot helmets in that and i still got more in this one as well i have too many i couldn't even sell them i have so many you only buy three at a time i couldn't get that done if i tried oh and i'm a pelican i didn't even build my uh my balcony big enough to accommodate the two new drew collectors that i wanted old mate gone he actually dropped some loot the suppressed ap is something else all right well <laughs> no use hanging about. So that's what I mean. See, if I had that tier 3 axe now, I could probably one-shot these things. But two on the regulars is pretty okay. We're fine. Although, oh, all right, catch that later. Now that it's um, now that it's getting later on in the day, I still have to go do that cracker cafe. There's still things to do, Josh. You're getting distracted by stuff. Whatever, I'll fix this later. H joy faces that way. The pink always scares you, but we're fine. There we go. Four Drew Collectors. A nice little watery balcony out there. You are just about done, so I'll start the changeover. All right, let's go get ourselves some more books. This is the joint. Just pull up all good and proper. Well, actually, given given my um, unfortunate habit of exploding my enemies, sometimes for good, most of the time for bad, I might park my bike a little bit further away. I'll actually turn all that wood I just got into more building blocks. Thank you. I got a better rack. Got a better rifle. I do have a decent amount of AP rounds. Right. Tier 4 infestation. Let's wake everybody up. Although, I could try and go stealthy just for a moment. No one's out. Oh, no one's out the front. I don't want to have AP for that, though, because we'll go through and break some bookshelves. This is going to be way too loud. Yeah, it was way too loud. Wakey, wakey, everybody. Straight out the door. And Chuck and Louis. They're going to run straight towards me. 
I don't think it's worth using AP rounds just yet. Oh, except it's so foggy. I actually turned down the um the mesh distances to try and get the game to not be a chuggy piece of shit, but apparently that's not an option for me. Don't even bother aiming down the sights. Just light them up. You got the laser for a reason. And start pumping up. Ah, start pumping rounds into them. <laughs> I'm so slow. I'm so slow. I, shit, I really need that book that gives me um, no armor penalty while I'm in combat. I'm in combat all the bloody time. You guys are gone. This was an infestation, so unfortunately, it does mean it's rather infested with zombies. Stand up. Down. Down. Good. Got another Raphael treasure map. Not too bad. I'll take you and read you straight away. I like that once you've done one, you can double up on them. I'm not sure if that's a um a glitch or a feature, but I'm happy with it either way. Take all of you. I can't scrap anything because I'm so chockers with my scrapping queue already. You, that one, just hide everything. Just hide everything for the moment. I'll clear the building, then get the books and just pray that no one explodes. Look at them in there. Look at them all. Imagine, it'd be so tempting. In fact, if I do that, They'd just come and meet me out here, wouldn't they? That would be like a smarter way to lure them out. There's no one hanging out behind there. I'm going to give it a go. Like, what's uh, what's the worst that happens here? I might actually grab you for a moment. Just give me some extra leverage so I can see. Yeah, like that. I couldn't... I can't quite get in the line up. I'm wearing the right goggles for it, though. All right. Well. Ah. It's, I forgot that it's a very strong door, so I can't actually get rounds through it. Okay, next idea. I've got... Ooh. I've got good tools. That's a cheeky little window. Horseshit. Horseshit. There's absolutely a hole there. That's a much bigger hole there. Boop. Boop. And boop. Dude, look at that. Play smart, not hard. Nothing about me is hard. That may just quietly be the most... <laughs> The best thing I've ever done for myself in a heckin' long time. Uh, I'll leave a blue until later. I'm more concerned with time getting away from me, so... Uh, wake him up. Where I am? Come on, nice and quick. Oh, not nips, though. Not nips, though. One. Oh, I missed you so many times. For half a second, I got confident, and the game reminded me that I am actually just a... Ah, prick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Close that door behind me. I'm a little bit knackered, a little bit shattered, and just sprinting away. That should fix my concussion, I think. Yes, it does. That's why I usually carry my painkillers now. That was almost it. Getting stunned by the bloody Muppet on the ground. Not my idea of a good time. Oh, neither is that. Neither is that. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <sighs> right. See, I did one good thing. I did one good thing in my life, and I got complacent and confident. How am I like this? Why am I like this? I should know better by now. Aside from how exceptionally dicey all that was, I'm not sure what actually happened to the crawler. Was he a crawler or was he just like bent over to kind of sneak under my radar? Well, that's especially hard at the best of times. I'll pop the vitos to make sure I don't get infected. I'm gonna go fast. The crickets are already chirping. Thank you for the bones. I actually need a lot of those. Take that as well. No loot, Josh. No loot, only murder. Up quick. In fact, now that I've done... Now that I've shot through that door and killed most of the guys in the loot room, does that mean that this is the last bit? I mean, there's a few of them, but it's not all especially bad. Straight line. Thank you. Oh, straight on through. Come up and over these little ladders here for me. No nips. Oh, no nips, no shot, no nothing. We're good. I think we're okay, except for you. Stand up. Gone. I still need to clear the area, though. I'll oh, just grab the loot bags, though. I'm not going to come back up. You just may as well take them now. The last bit of the clear is still in the main loot area. Change you out for my knife, because I do need to grab you. You can come with me. Thank you for the bones. Anything you backpack to? Just armor parts. Okay. Well, who's you? Go with the suppressed. That wasn't the last one. Where are the others? Come on, surely. Make yourself known. Make yourself seen. I see a foot that isn't attached to him. Okay, hang on. Hit you like that. Stand up and... 
picture like that. Job is done. I want to check though. <gasps> I have to come back. I'm gonna have to come back because it's 96. If I get my tier 5 loot gogs from back home, this whole place would be 101 on the next loot level. I've got the speedy bike. I've got the speedy bike. I've got to do it. I don't like obsessing over loot this much. I used to. I got out of that habit, but now it's coming back again. Just to get to that next loot tier, though. Be rude not to. Be, oh, be rude not to open the box, too. Get in there. I'm gonna leave everything then. I'm gonna leave everything, including the loot bags. I should have been doing that before, but that's okay. I've got two hours before sunset. I can get home, drop all this garbage off, actually, and then come back again. Where's home? Home is that way. Did a UE for nothing. All right, just go. We don't have time for anything else. Just go. So I guess I'm starting to get to like that level where I should start rolling with my uh, loot and goggles on me normally. Like any sort of tier four POI by the looks of things is right on that borderline and the goggles can actually get me over the line, which I guess is what they're designed to do if I don't have time. Don't have time. You take all of that. Uh, tools, tier fivers. Why do I have... Oh, I've got two tier fives in here. All right, not too bad. We're young. The cement mixer just stopped, but that's okay. Gotta get up and out. Up and out, and we're gone. Oh, the sun's setting. Go fast. I'm just gonna leave my bike in the car park just here. Mind the gutters. I hate that it breaks my bike so much. Just going over a lip or two, but here's what it is. Quickly break away into you. Nice. Okay, loot and gogs are on. I've already done that. I want to start with the big boy, the infested cash. Give me something really good, please. That's not really good, please, but I will take you for the steal. Oh, just go. <laughs> Why do I always cut these things so fine? Yeah, see, look, with the loot and gogs on, we're loot stage 101, which is the very bottom of the next tier up. I I mean, the loot system's a little bit wacky, dude, but it works, it works, I suppose. Pop you. Lovely. Bookstore box. Explosive bandolier mod schematic. It's pretty late on of the pace for getting bando schematics. Some good books out of you though. I might just start like taking all the books out the front and reading them in one go. That's, <laughs> I just can't find that uh, needle and thread book, the only one that's actually valuable. I can't bloody find it anywhere. But for this place, we'll fix that. About to get really bloody hairy in here, and I haven't even raided the front room yet. I still need to raid actually all of the bathrooms, get any murky waters. None out of you. And no oh, none out of you. This is all heck and bloody loud though. You can piss off. Free us for inventory space for more books. I do have. I did unlock the ability to make um tier four steel tools. I just made a tier three, which kind of sucks, but I had to do what I had to do. Can't uh, maximize everything most of the time. Quicker chuck you. I'm looking for glue, but there's none. Get into you nice and fast for the hidden stash. Oh, I'm just nervous. I'm nervous about a demo finding me in the bathroom, though, and trapping me in. I think I've grabbed all of the books, all of the loot. There might potentially be something up the very top. I'll probably jump, jump out that ladder again and just make doubly sure. Did get quite a few books out of it too, didn't I? Uh, this way. It's heck and dark. That's okay. I don't think I left anything up here. No. Nah, okay. We're good. We're good. Well, turn off your reading light to do some reading. Repair tools. Assault rifle crafting. Not sure why you giving me those. I don't have any points in AKs, but all right. I can make a tacky boy quality form. Jeez, that's actually pretty tempting. Forge ahead books, cooking books armor crafting as well a lot of things but still not the needle and thread book those trees in my backyard are probably due a harvest sometime soon i'll get right on that when i next can open you i like this house so much i need to fix up the walls make it a bit more demo proof out there or at least just like <laughs> make their life a little bit harder than it currently is because the moment they can just walk straight in it's basically just nothing but cake batter out there for them but Look, it feels nice though. An automatic drawbridge as well. That'd be bloody sick. I've got the solar panels. I've got almost everything I need. All I need is... Ha ha! Ah! So many more electrician books! Sure. Mm, so many things I wish I could do and that's one of them. I really think that like stuff like that, like automatic doors... Like, maybe, like, you know, the steel doors should be, like, maximum uh, electrician, I suppose. But a regular drawbridge, that should be lower. That should be lower. A, like, maxed out electrician. <sighs> Way to just take all their hopes and dreams and smack them against the wall. After all of that, my uh, AP ammo box is only just finishing crafting, which is beautiful. I need a couple more glues to thank you. Make myself 
some diamond, well, one diamond tip blade mod. I need five more goons to make the next one. Diamonds weirdly isn't actually the issue. Uh, what do I need that for? Did Pace go just on the steel axe? I need glue as well to make those better tools. So, weirdly, water isn't an issue for keeping me hydrated. Oh, I forgot the cheesecake this morning. Damn it. It's just an issue for my production. I've got two skill points to spend. I'm already clapped out on cardio. Iron Guts looking pretty good. Healing factor. Um, I don't really struggle with food at the moment. I've got two levels of pain tolerance. I still got fuzzed up before. Interesting. Oh, I do have two points in machine gun. Alright, it's probably fair enough why I uh, got so many books for it then. But I think... If I take an extra 100% damage for hidden strikes, it might mean that with a suppressed regular ammo rifle, I can probably do, like, maybe get those stealth kills. Because the AP ammo does it at the moment, but when that's not an option for me, having a different option might be nice. How far away am I, by the way, from... Uh, perk books, urban combat, you? Oh, I'm so far away. I'm so far away from suppressors have no damage penalty. How have I found no urban combat books? I finished snipers. I finished spear hunters. I've got books all over the gaff. But urban combat's like my worst one. That's my favorite series. It's already half past one, so I've got to wrap this up. I'll chuck in a little bit more on you. You're still smelting stones. That should be ready to crank out a whole bunch more concrete. But you... I'll take you. I'll get you working straight away. Let's go like half of you. So 400 in that one. 400 in uh, that one. So it's just cement now. It's just you. It just takes so long. It just takes so long to smelt stones down into cement. That I'm way too impatient to wait for that. You guys can hang out in there though. Thank you. But it's now almost 2 a.m. Everything's working. Everything is good. Which means I'm going to leave this episode here. When I come back tomorrow, I have to go hand in. That's the wrong button. Hand in that quest to Trady and see what he's going to give me. And then what? I mean, I've got concrete production going. I'm, I'm kicking goals with the trader as well. If I keep doing the high level POIs, maybe I'll come across something good, but I have enough time up my sleeve now. If I could just leave the forge, leave my concrete production being automated and go, I'd, I'd disappear to a different town in a different biome and try and get those better loot levels. But I can't. I have to stay here and babysit my forge. There's got to be a better way. Maybe I'll just like chuck in a whole bunch of time and just like... Just let it do its thing, come back another day, and smelt out the rest of the concretes. That's a pretty dicey idea, though. Pretty bloody dice. But I'll have to come back and probably toss those dice in another episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked like to make sure you hit the like button down below, or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.